And when I say I was shocked, I was completely shocked and blown away. everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne and welcome to The Balanced Lifestyle. If you are new, thank you for clicking on this video and joining me today. Uh, if you are new, I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button, give this video a big like and check out the rest of my videos. Playlists will be listed below in my description box. And if you are a return subscriber. Thank you for joining me again. And now let's get on into this video. So I just wanted to let you know what I've been up to. It's been a while since I posted an update here on this video. This is a weight loss, get healthy, balanced lifestyle channel. So um, I was a few months ago, I started my weight loss journey again. I have over 100 pounds to lose. And when I was doing that, I was restricting calories, counting calories, counting everything I ate. I was working out four to five times a week and I was seeing results, yes. Um, and I was happy with what I was doing. And then I fell off the bandwagon. My daughter was done with the, her semester, her year, her junior year in college. We went on vacation for a week and she came home. She's been home. Now she's actually overseas in England for a month. So I fell off. She's a great cook. I was eating all the things and I fell off the bandwagon. So also, if you are, have been around and also on my other channel, my main channel, Leanne's Life, I touch on this also. For the past year and a half, I've been breaking out in hives on my lower body. Um, I believe it is in correlation with dairy and hormones. Um, getting to that point in my life, not exactly there yet, um, where my body is changing. Um, my monthly menstrual cycle will probably be changing here soon. I still have my cycle every month, but I can just tell certain things are happening and I'm getting to that age where menopause is, is, it's right around the corner. So I don't know if my hives are completely due to dairy. I do see a correlation with that or if it also um, is in correlation to hormone level, fluctuates, you know, during that time of month, it seems like my hives break out right before I start my cycle each month. So I've been dairy free for about, I'd say a year now till I really pinpointed exactly what was causing my hives to break out and be miserable. If you've ever had hives, you understand how miserable life can be. So I have been dairy free since then. And I've been thinking for a while now, I want to try to go vegan for at least 30 days. And I know I mentioned this in a couple of, oh, I think my last video that I posted, that's what I'm doing. Um, so beginning of this month, I started a week ago, I started um, eating completely vegan. And it has been very easy. I'm going to say I've had no cravings for animal meat, nothing like that. Um, this transition has been the easiest for me as far as quote unquote diet goes. Um, and I was not restricting myself. So obviously vegan, no animal products, no dairy, no eggs, no honey, no beef, meat, chicken, turkey, anything like that. You're eating a plant-based diet basically. You know, there are some vegans that do the starch solution. I think that's what it's called. Um, people like high carb Hanna, um, Plantiful, I think it's Plantiful Kiki. I can leave their um, YouTube channels in below in my description box. I know that they restrict um, oils and higher fatty foods such as avocados, they restrict that. But I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do any of that this week. I just cut out all animal products, all obviously all dairy, eggs, honey, anything that is not vegan. And I didn't restrict myself on counting calories. 
um, or stick to myself on carbs. I ate rice. I ate beans. If you hear my dogs in the background, I apologize. I ate rice, beans, potatoes, and as much as I wanted. I would keep my portions to where half the plate is starch and half the plate is fruits and or vegetables. So that's what I did for one week. So that is what I did for one week and I feel great. Um, I'm also taking a B12 supplement and vitamin D and my daily vitamins um, that I normally take just to supplement because they say people who um, eat a vegan diet may lack in those. So I'm just supplementing it just so just to keep my levels normal, right? Right. So then I'm thinking, okay, a couple days in, I'm good, right? I mean, I can, I can eat this way. This is not bothering me. I'm not having any problems. So I'm searching YouTube. Um, Dr. Bernard, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Dr. Bernard. I've been watching a lot on him. He talks a lot about the vegan diet, vegan lifestyle. And I came across a documentary on Netflix. And when I say my mind was blown, my mind was blown. Um, I knew some of the stuff that they were talking about. I, I knew that a vegan lifestyle was good for your health. I do know that. I know that animal products, they are high in cholesterol. They, um, high in the bad fats. And I mean, they're just, I mean, they're, I'm not going to get into that right now, but I knew all of this stuff. But when I watched this documentary called What the Health? on Netflix, my mind was completely blown on all levels. Um, I'm going to link it. I, I, don't, I don't know how I can link it below on Netflix, but I'm going to post um, what it looks like, like the, the cover photo of the video up here on the screen. I suggest just watching it. It's going to be shocking. Um, some people, it, it, you probably would think it's hokey or I'm not... I don't know, but it completely blew my mind. And to be completely honest, I don't know if I could ever go back to eating meat. I'm not going to get into all of that on how I feel about that whole documentary, but just to tell you that I was just, I was blown and it made me sick, made me disgusted. I don't know. I don't know if I could ever going back to eating meat. I'm just going to leave it at that. So I'm also going to link below in my description box for my other channel, a what's for dinner video that has a ton of vegan recipes. I did a what I eat in the day on this channel. So I am going to link that below. That is how I ate this past week. So uh, I didn't, I didn't deviate from veganism at all. I didn't have any dairy. I used dairy supplements like the fake cheese and stuff like that. So I wasn't restricting myself on any of that. And I did weigh myself at the start of this. I started on a Monday and I weighed myself seven days later on a Monday morning. And this completely shocked me too. Now I've done Weight Watchers. I've done calorie restriction. I've done calorie restriction and working out. I've done... <laughs> And I've had some success with that, but then I always fall off because tracking points on WW and tracking calories and, and scanning foods, and it is so cumbersome. And I'm thinking, I don't, I've always said to myself, well, I'm just going to get to the weight that I want to be, and then I won't have to do that anymore because I'll know, right? I'll know how to eat. I'll know how much a portion is. I'll know what I need to do, and everything will be good. Um, I just, that's why I would always fall off the bandwagon. So this past week I ate what I wanted. I had vegan ice cream. I had vegan cheese. I had my, my daughter's dog is playing here. Hold on. Um, and I didn't restrict myself on portions on anything, nothing. So Monday morning I wake up and I weigh myself and I was down 4.6 pounds. Without even, without even trying. And I think that is the most ever I've ever lost doing anything ever. I think that is the most weight I've ever lost in a week doing anything. 
calorie restrictions and exercise, calorie restrictions, Weight Watchers, watching your points, doing all of the things. And that is the most weight I've ever lost. And I didn't even have to restrict myself. Now, will this happen each and every week? Probably not. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I feel good. I feel um, satiated when I eat. I don't feel hungry. I didn't. I mean, if I was hungry, I ate. So, so that is just what I wanted to say in this video. I wanted to let you know where I've been, what I've been doing, how I've been doing, and all the things. So let me know. Comment down below. Um, do you eat a vegan lifestyle? Do you have any vegan recipes or other vegan channels that you watch? Um, comment down below and let me know because I'm kind of a absorbing myself into all of this. I want to try things when I eat food. I want things to be flavorful. I know um, I'm not going to mention a channel, but I mean, she even admits that she doesn't use very much um, seasonings in her food. And when I see her cooking, it gives me ideas, but I'm thinking, oh, it's so bland. Like I need, I need flavors. I need seasonings. I need um, to make myself my sauces. And I, like I said, everything that I've made myself I've enjoyed, I've not been hungry or anything like that. So comment down below. Let me know if you have any special recipes or any Pinterest um, recipes that you have or any kind of cookbooks or any other YouTube channels that you um, watch or take inspiration from. Because I want to be an inspiration to all of you if you are vegan or, or want to try to eat vegan or try this lifestyle because for right now, I mean, I have nothing bad to say about it. I feel great and I lost 4.6 pounds in one week and without even trying. That in itself blows my mind. And I will keep you updated on that. If maybe next week, I, who knows? I mean, maybe I won't lose anything or I might even gain a pound. I don't even know. But um, I'm just going to see. I'm going to see how it goes and I'm going to see. I also, like I said, the main reason for me doing this is because of the hives that I get and I just kind of wanted to reset my body and um, get it in check and just see how I can get these hives under control. But thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video wasn't all over the place. I can dive into more details on each of those topics that I talked about. If you are interested, let me know down below and I will see you in my next one, everyone. Bye-bye.